Hello everybody, my name is Crazed Wombat and I am starting a new series. We are doing Prison Architect this time. And by this time I mean this is the first time. Like this is my first video. So we're going to see if this is any good or not. Uh, it'll probably be absolutely horrid, but what else am I going to do? you got to start somewhere. And how we're going to start is we're going to start with create a new prison. Uh, I'm going to keep it pretty good. I have played this a little bit. Um, I was wary. I played Prison Tycoon years and years ago and was very, very, very sad about it. It was really kind of buggy and boring. So um, I think I still have it somewhere in a bin upstairs. But for right now, uh, this just got released on Steam. I know it's been out for a while on Early Access, and I just, because of Prison Tycoon, I never tried it um, and just kind of waited. And then when it popped out, I was like, all right, well, you know, let's see what it looks like. And I watched uh, another YouTuber play and I was like alright this is pretty cool so I wanted to give it a shot so I jumped on I was probably playing for about four or five hours now um, and I think I have enough of a gist of what I'm doing in order to kind of figure it out so a bunch of different wardens here when you start a new prison usually it'll automatically set you right to a the campaign and then from then on out like every time you load the game it just puts you right on a map I don't I don't know why but you just hit escape and get going again I like this girl um, I can't pronounce her name, Aknova. Uh, I like her because she is a bit shady and she gets a cut of any contraband found and you do find quite a bit of contraband, especially when you do daily shakedowns, which I just like to do. I don't care if they feel suppressed, I like to gank them. Um, let's see. So, we are going to not do Fog of War because for recording it's not any good. Um, forests are alright and then I haven't done lakes yet. Generate buildings I haven't done either. Um, I think that's just more cleanup. I'm not really a fan. Failure conditions. We're going to sandbox this, so I'm not going to worry about it. Gang affiliation. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I don't like events because you can't affect anything they do. So if I do something really good and something bad happens, well, well that just sucks. So screw that. And then we're going to do unlimited funds just because... Um, I have played with the regular way, and it's fine. It's just not good for recording either. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to a medium map. Now, I just found out recently that you can buy... The big map is huge, and you can buy extended um, plots of land around it, just like in SimCity. So that was pretty cool. I'm going to go with medium just because it small is a bit small, and... Um, large is rather large and I tend to overbuild so I'll start with medium and then go from there so here we are this is the game screen all your standard controls AD SW and all that you start out with deliveries and garbage and a couple of workmen they are my slaves to work with first thing you need um, is the foundations for any building uh, that'll get annoying a little bit later on but I'll let you know why but we'll make it pretty we'll go brick and you'd don't need you can go into rooms if you're not sure how big you need it to be they won't always say it but um this is where we need to build a reception and this is where all your prisoners arrive and you can get up to like 70 or more people arriving at one time and although you can control the intake later that's a lot so i like to make it fairly decent so i think you'll see me do a lot of 10 by 10s because i think that's a good room size for the most part um in order for the foundation to be completed you always have to have an entrance otherwise what are you gonna do um, timing is pretty good everything seems to be alright and now when you're playing legit you go down here to the bottom and you've got reports and then you can go to grants and then you can you know hey this sounds good so I'm gonna build a basic detention center as a to-do list and get a grant for it don't really need to but it does give you a nice little list up here and that is r really handy um, so I'll watch our little slaves do their work, and if I wanted to, and I will, um, I'll go get a couple of extra ones, because money is not a concern, so I'll just overload so I can get some fast building done. You only have a day in order to get your prisoners, and there's a lot to build. You should, once you know what you're doing, you can build it all and still have a couple hours to spare, depending on how large the buildings are. <laughs> but, I mean, it ain't much, so we're going to go up here. Um, everything needs to be powered. I found that it's a pretty good idea to get a C seven by seven. Um, this will keep the room small um, for your power structure, but still have room to put capacitors around it. And I'll get into that in a little bit here. 
Oh, I guess you need the staff door. Staff doors are good because the peeps, bad guys, can't get in there. Uh, we can always throw them in solitaire. All right, and then just like in most sim games, you will need to power it. Now, I know that's a little early because I don't have my little piece in, but you can preset it while you're waiting for the foundation to go because you can't place anything or pre-place anything before then. Planning! This is where I could build a building without actually building a building and lay it all out to make it the way I want it to look, and then it can overview. When I turn it off, it'll still be there, so you can trace your lines. This is kind of good when you're messing around and you want to see if uh, spacing is good, which is a really good thing. So we are back into here. Um, everything needs to be declared. I, I find that in my great almighty power of wisdom, always forget, I build the cells and I build solitary, and then I don't actually claim the rooms. And that doesn't do anybody any good. So we'll go in there. And we will go to objects. Now we'll look at this. When you zoom in to the room that you're in, the highlights of what needs to be or what can be in there is in there, which is pretty awesome because it does help you find things a little bit quicker. You'll need to do the search too because there are a lot of things that aren't shown here. Um, I like to do that as well, but I don't need it right now. Right now, this is what we need. Um, and when you do the rotates, it's not always the way you want it to be, but it is what it is. Then we go in here. Now I'm going to show you the... F oh yeah, we need to power things up. So it looks like I've done this before, huh? Yeah, because I have. All right. Here we are. Now we need to build, we need a warden. Let's go to the warden. He's, this is our guy, or girl in this case. She's a bit of a hoe, but you know, it's me. So we need to look around, and what does she need? She requires an office. What do I need for an office? I stroll over to office. I need a 4x4 four four and a couple of other goodies. So I'm going to plan ahead because if you go up here, you've got a bunch of people you need to research. And you'll eventually need one, two, three, four, five different offices plus your word. So six offices total. If you're playing legit, you probably can't afford it. But yeah, I'm not playing legit. So uh, three, four, five. A five by five is not correct. you got to remember that when you're doing this, a four by four is minus the bottom and the top, the left and the right. So 6x6 six six will give me a 4x4 four four room, I believe. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it again. Oh, yeah, I can't do that because that wall's not built. I knew that. Um, actually, why don't I do this the smart way and cancel all this out because I am that... <laughs> I just pissed them all off. All right, 6 by... Let's see if it's two sixes plus an additional space for two. That's 12, 13, 14. Yeah, let's do that and see what happens. All right. Looks like our reception is good to go. Let's go ahead and... This is your power bar. Now, this is what confused me. I thought the red down at the bottom was, oh, you're out of power. So I kept adding transistors. But really, it's what is the load on the power generator. So as it gets higher, you need to go down to here and add these little capacitors, and that'll add some more electricity. It's not as strong as I would have hoped, so you're going to have to have a bunch of these on a big map. But just be careful with your wiring because... <laughs> Found out the hard way, you can't just wire it all together. Now look at this. It just added that and tore down the rooms. I hate that. That's so annoying. Um, but I don't know how else they're going to do it. So I'll just have to come across. And then I have trapped some guys for a while. But we're going to put in a staff door here because it's not for the prisoners. And then we'll wait for that. Meanwhile, we're going to head over. And what else do I need? I need a holding cell. All right, holding cell. Where the hell is the hole? There we go. Five by five. So what is that? Six by six, seven by seven. So we need a seven by seven room. And I do accidentally confuse which one's which for some. I mean, I don't confuse it, but I don't pay any attention. So we're going to go here. And we're going to do a, I don't know. I've always done it that way. Let's see. It's a, I need a, what did I say? Seven by seven? Seven by seven is all I need. This won't really get used all that much um, for whatever reason. I, I don't know. Um, once you, as long as you keep space going on in your in your prison. If you run out of cells, then yeah, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four. Crap. Oh wait, no, that's okay. That confuses me because there is a wall there. It's just always open for now. Um, and then those offices will need a door as well. 
Now, what else do you need for an office? Let's see. Office. I need an office chair, a chair, and a filing cabinet. All the great things that make an office, because we all love filing cabinets, especially in today's day and age when everything's digital. And you flip it around. It's hard to tell on some of these. Like, for example, the Ben. Which way is the correct way? It's kind of hard to know. It also doesn't matter. Um, but for those of you who need things to be centered, it's not going to happen. It's all cell grace or grid based. So your tears of wisdom or your tears of sadness are, are what they are. I don't care. Um, <laughs> all right. So we got out a door into this room and let's fill this on up with. I don't know. I can't find anything while I'm playing this. Now, I could add a shower, too. I've seen some people do that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to do the bare minimum in order to get everything up in time. So, I need... Everything needs to be surrounded by walls, which is now the case. A toilet and a bench. Alright. Toilets can be a little annoying, and I'll show you why in a second. But certainly not enough to be like, oh, screw this game. Um, we're going to do... They can all sit here like that. Because... And they can all share one toilet because, you know, they're criminals. All right, so the other thing you have to build is a... Do another 7x7. Seven seven. Just because I find that's easier. It's taken me a while to get the measurements. You have a water pump. Now, the great thing about the water pump is you only need one of them, as far as I can tell. I don't know how far the pipes go. Um, and then you connect them with the large pipes, which <laughs> bad guys can crawl through if they tunnel their way in. And I haven't had that happen, but I have had some tunnelers go. And then a small pipe. So the small pipe only works, I don't know exactly how far away, but only for a limited length from the big pipe. But the big pipe can run all over the map. Um, but it's also, you can see the price difference is 13 bucks. And if you're paying legit, then that is painful. Um, especially because money is not as great of an income. I mean, the grants really save you early on, but I mean, that's it. So I'm going to need, I know the pump is going to be here, so I'm going to go ahead and get that pumped out and then just, I'm just going to drive it right through because now there are instances where, you know, especially in these T stops right here, um, if it's four way and all four of them get in before the middle one, then they get trapped and that is... That sucks, because then you have to tear out a wall and and do that again. So, all right, we're going to do that. And I know this is... There. I don't know why I do this. I just do this, because it makes fun. Now, here's the other great thing to know. These tiles that I'm building right now are worth it. Do it. Um, put down paving stones wherever you want. If you look at it here, walk speed fast. They greatly, greatly, greatly improve their speed. Um, and then... We need to drop this down. And I'm doing this, and then I'm adding staff doors. Um, because if you don't do that, then whenever you get these jail doors, and see, look, uh-oh, no canteens. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, we'll get to that later. So the only thing that, you know, eh, it doesn't suck. It's, it's more realistic than anything else. They, the guards have to open jail doors. So... That's good when prisoners are trying to get out, but that's not good when your workers are trying to get in and fill in a building. Yeah, so that's why that's there. And then, of course, we'll material that up. I know I'm wasting a lot of time on that, but I do have 15 hours, and I don't have anything built <laughs> yet. So let's do this. Let's start working on our jail's door. I'll just put it in here. I'm not really caring about that. All right, I have a warden now, so let's go ahead and get maintenance going. Maintenance is kind of important because you'll need the groundskeeper and the cleaning. Otherwise, this place turns into a dump and very quickly. And it's going to take time to research, so we're going to see that here for a little bit. Oh, yeah, cry me a river. All right, let's put the water in. Um, why? Why don't you like that? That's a first. Oh, one, we're going to go up to here. And then water pump. Oh, because I, because I put the big pipe down when I shouldn't have. Alrighty then. Let's put that in. And everything will be hooked up and the skies will open up and sing for me. So now the other big thing we need is a canteen. So they're basically a cafeteria and um, a kitchen. And you got to have cooks to do all that stuff. And later you can hire your slaves to... Uh -huh higher you can force your slaves to work in the kitchens and you'll pay them a little bit of money which then you can take back when you open up a shop for them 
And that seems about the way things should be. They are criminals. They don't deserve anything. Are they people? Eh, you know, I mean, that's arguable. But um, you'll become people again once you serve your time. And I'm not going to worry too much about making a beautiful, beautiful prison. I just want to kind of get it down and show you guys what is going on with it. Um, all right. And that'll be that. So get to work, my little slaves. There are no canteens accessible. I, don't know. Oh, I guess I always built that late. So I need a shower, too, which I will get to um, when I build the cell block. And then a yard... I'm going to do right now. The yard is, is easy. I wish they had more things for the yard. But they don't. I don't know if they're still doing deliveries now that they've released this thing. But, um, you know, for public consumption. But that's it for a yard. That's all there is. Nothing particularly exciting about it. Now, these do take time to put down. They do put them down pretty quick. But I do like to... I mean, the yard kind of disappears into the background. And I don't like that. Um... So while they're working on that, I forgot to make it big enough for my kitchen, which is annoying. But oh, and I screwed up the length, the width. Go me. Um, that's okay. I don't care. And then of course I have to rebuild the wall in the middle. Like that's that's my biggest problem. And then up here, while they're working away, <laughs> I almost said slave again, but they are. Um, we're going to do a 19 by 11. That gets me 12 prisoners in at a time. And also, notice I've got openings. Here, see, he doesn't like it because it's not behind a secure door. So if they showed up right now instead of in 13 hours, they could just run free and then get away. And it's bad enough that they tunnel their way out. Um, so I don't want that. I'm going to put that down. And wait for him to work. Oh, there we go. Alright. I like to do two things at once because for this exact reason, while they're focusing on one side, I can focus on the other side and kind of outline things. So, because I can't put anything in anyways until the foundation's in. Uh, you know, I sometimes wonder. And then that's what gets me in trouble. So, we're going to go that and then we're going to do that and hope for the best. Oh, yeah. And, of course, I don't have any power running to it. So we're going to go down. And Now, if you try to do it all over here, sometimes, it, most of the time it works, and then sometimes it just doesn't. And that's frustrating, too, but it's okay. I mean, this game is, it runs very smooth. I haven't found any slowdowns in performance. Um, so I'm not going to cry too much about some of this stuff, but I am going to cry a little bit. All right, so because they're prisoners, they don't need very much. So that's all they need for the size of their cell. And that's all they deserve because they broke the law. I mean, and you can see once the prisoners get here, there are some entertaining, uh, you know, there's one guy who's in here for, I think, for piracy. And he served like four sentences for piracy. And then I had one guy who I was just kind of like, oh, okay, you know, he's been here a little while. And I look at him because he's in solitaire. And he's killed like 22 of my guards and I didn't realize it. It's like, oh, well, I guess I uh, am, you know, not good. Alright, so I have a set place I like to put all of my toilets because it makes things easier. And uh, all my cells look the same because when you're doing this over and over and over again, um, it gets a little old. Now, I haven't used it yet, but there is a clone tool, but you have to research it so you don't get it in the beginning at all. Um, and that, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why that would be a research. Maybe it's just something to add fluff to the game to make things take a little bit longer. But I do hate building these cells out each time. Now, this is a beautiful, perfect cell block. Not very high in holding a lot of people, but it's a nice cell block. And then I can just clone it once I get that in. And where is cloning? Cloning is all the way over here under maintenance. And then I have to wait six hours in order to get it. And he's still working on his way out. So, whatever. Uh, I'll get to it eventually. It doesn't... I don't know. In the beginning, it's fine. I'm not going to cry too much like a little fairy girl. Oh, uh-oh. I'm about to overload. So, let's compastrify it up. Now, be careful with this, especially if you build it in as small as possible like I did. Because if you set this and this, then they'll be able to go up on both sides. But if you had put, like, another one here, then the one corner wouldn't be able to put down because they can't walk over it. And I'm about to lose my power. So, screw it. All right. I still don't have a shower. I don't care much about that yet. I do need to fence off my area. That's under materials. I'm going to put a perimeter wall here. 
Now, they actually will dig tunnels through the toilets. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't have any power over here because I didn't run any cable through here. This is bad here because it's underneath the cell block, so they will probably try to tunnel out through here and then just walk out the front. I don't care. Um, I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen by being very nice to them and maybe putting them through reform. I do this along pathways only because I don't want them to have any issues and they'll find a way to have issues. Now the only thing, oh, and before I forget, like I said earlier, dink, dink, and now I have cells, but I don't have cells because I am missing an enclosed area, which means I gotta jail door their ass because nobody likes them walking around like fools. So this is what it takes to build a cell block. And once it's up and running, it will look beautiful. But they also need a shower, and we don't want no stank-ass prisoners, because it's bad enough as it is. So, see, you know what, I'm going to do this from just to see what happens, because I'm tired of having to rebuild the wall every time I do it. But if I do that, will it automatically get rid of it? Because it didn't before. Huh, maybe it will. Well, I might have learned something new. We shall see. All right, we're back in the canteen. We are got to load this sucker in. Canteen requires a serving table. Um, you know, there's stuff all over the internet about ratios and such of how much you need for, you know, how many cooks do you need in the kitchen for how many prisoners and whatever. They say a serving table will serve like 40 or 80 people. I forget which one it was. I'm only going to have a couple. I'm only having eight come in, so there's no point in going ape shit. Um, but I will Let's see if the bench will get in the way. Oh, look at that. The bench will get in the way. Deck on it. Now, the great thing is you can cancel it just by hitting right click before it's built. And that is cool tables look like crap um, because of the way the the grid base is set up but I mean what are you gonna do you just kind of get over it in order to enjoy the game some things you just have to look past and I I don't know yeah, things get so busy you just you stop worrying about that kind of crap all right so now we're in the kitchen kitchen needs a cooker it's good to have quite a few cookers I don't think that's the correct direction I think Oh, no, that is... Okay. All right, well, that's the front. Another thing that's hard to tell. Um, I'm just going to build a whole bunch of them. And it don't fit. Yay me. And then they take a lot of power, unfortunately. Oh, and bins. I don't really know. I haven't seen the actual effect of these. And I think that was backwards. So, um, see how quick and easy that is? There we go. So, I don't know. Something about contraband. Where'd it go? Son of a biatch. Where'd it go? Hey, you. There it is. Okay. Tidiness is important when it comes to contraband. What is, the hell does that mean? I don't know. Uh, I guess they don't want stuff lying around. But I don't actually know what it's used for. Alright, so let's go back to what we need. We need a sink because that's important. And, you know, of course that's going to mean water. And then a couple fridges. Now, you need some fridges. Rather important. Um, I don't... I wish there was like an arrow that showed which way things were pointed rather than just me guessing. Um, I made this a little small so I'm just going to be gimpy and add one right in the middle. Alright, so if we look here oh yeah, that's not bad. Each one of these has power. As long as they're connected to each other things are fine. Um, see, it looks like it's off from the wall like that. I'm not sure Again, just a little, it annoys me, but it is what it is. I'm not going to cry too much about it. You'll see, you'll hear that from me a lot. It is what it is, but it really is. <laughs> so, yay for me having a canteen. I'm going to, oh, I need to pipe in some water because, you know, sinks only work with water. So I'm going to do that and then do that. Now, I haven't had anybody escape through a tunnel, but I run these things all over because I hate the fact that things are, what the hell is your issue? There are no canteens. I'm working on that. Oh, it requires an entrance. When you do too many things at once, this is what happens. Now, i got to build a shower in order for them. So that is what that is. And, oh, it does look like it's just added on. Well, ain't that freaking nice. And it gives you that extra space. So I didn't need a 10 by 10. I don't really need a 10 by 10 anyways, but, you know, whatever. Um, now I'm just going to fence off the rest because I only got seven hours left. And then we'll kind of go from there. But I 
think we are at a good spot for our first glorious time. So thank you for coming with me. I know I threw a lot of information at you and made this pretty quick, but then again, I only got seven more hours left, and well, well there you go. So in the next episode, I shall finish the shower, fence this sucker off, and bring in my prisoners. Thank you very much. I am the Wombat.